Finally tonight, Mars may be getting all the headlines today, but that's not what had so many Americans gathering late last night to look up at the sky. The greatest show on Earth was the moon and a rare celestial event that won't happen again for a long time to come, resulting in some spectacular views. Here's NBC's Joe Fryer. It's beautiful. You didn't need cable or an internet connection to see it, yet the ratings for this show were huge. It's just coming out behind the clouds. It's amazing. Millions around the globe peering skyward to catch a glimpse of the super blood moon. Probably the best moon we have. Across the globe, a similar sight, just different foregrounds. From an English countryside to the Eiffel Tower, from the Washington Monument to a Kansas farm field. Stunning images filled social media, along with plenty of low-grade cell phone shots where the moon looked more like a streetlight far off in the distance. Still for many, this was something to celebrate. Big things are going to happen. You just got to be ready. So how does a blood moon even happen? Start with a full moon on its closest approach to Earth, so it looks up to 14% larger. That's called a supermoon. Now add a lunar eclipse where the moon passes directly behind the Earth into our planet's shadow. Sunlight is filtered through the Earth's atmosphere, creating a red tint. I've seen pictures of it, but I never like really imagined it would be like this cool. This was the first time since 1982 that a supermoon coincided with a total lunar eclipse. And if you missed it, well, you won't see another one until 2033. While some feared it was a sign of the world's end, maybe it just brought the world a little closer. All of us united beneath one supermoon. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.